Hi, I'm Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements together. And here we are looking at some of the new features in Premiere Elements 15. Now, previously in Premiere Elements, you could create custom music tracks, you actually still can, using scores. Scores are located under the musical note here on the toolbar on the right. When you click it, scores are still there. You can create music to any custom length from their library of musical styles. Here in version 15, Adobe has upped the ante a little bit. Now you can remix any song that you own, any popular song, whatever, that's on your hard drive. You can remix it to a custom length. And that's what we're going to do right now. You notice that here I have a short movie, just about a minute and 10 seconds long. And here I have a song, The Indigo Girls Closer to Fine, that is on the music track, and it is about three and a half minutes long. So I want to trim down that song so it's the same length as my movie, but I don't want it to sound cut off. I don't want to have to fade it out. I want it to have a natural beginning, middle, and end. And this is what the music remixer does automatically. Now you know that when I trim a movie, if I hover my mouse over the end of my movie or end, over the end of a clip, I get that little trim indicator on there. When I hover my mouse over a clip that's on the music track, and by the way, this only does work on the music track, the lowermost track on your timeline. When I hover my mouse over the end of a music clip, I get a little bit different of a trim indicator. That is our music remix indicator. So I'm going to drag my clip in so that it's now the same length as the rest of my movie. When I let go, the program is going to analyze the clip. It's going to look for patterns in it. It's going to take the end, put it in the middle, so that the song naturally goes from a beginning to a middle, and then it will go to an end, and it won't sound like the song has been abruptly cut off. It will all sound perfectly natural. Now, there is a threshold to this, a minimum to how much you can trim. If you try to cut your song to shorter than a minute, you're going to get a warning indicator on screen that it's not going to work and it, it doesn't work. So don't do that. Also, I've noticed that if you if you trim your music to a certain length and then uh, retrim it a couple of times, it also messes things up. So make sure you get it right the first time. Beyond that, uh, once you trim your movie or once the program has analyzed it, sometimes you get a little box that pops up that wants to know what your preferences are for the song. Do you want it to be longer or shorter? If you set it to shorter, it's going to remix your song so that it has more repetitive segments in it. If you leave it at longer, it leaves your song pretty much as is, except that it blends the end into the um, midst of the song so that now we have a song that is naturally one minute long. So I'm going to just move the playhead to toward the end of the song, and I want you to just listen. I think you should be able to hear this through the microphone. I'm going to just play the song as it's been remixed, and you'll see that it has now been cut to one minute and 10 seconds, and yet the ending just flows naturally from the middle of the song. Listen to this. Wasn't that terrific? Didn't it do a great job of just putting that ending in? It doesn't sound abrupt at all. It all sounds very natural. And I've tried this with a number of songs, and the results have always been terrific. So check out this wonderful new feature added to version 15. If you want to know more about the program, how to use this feature and all the cool new features, or all of the features, and all of the tools in Premiere Elements and Photoshop Elements, be sure to check out our tips and tutorials here at MoviePix.com. And, of course, our books, which are the complete guides to Premiere Elements and Photoshop Elements. They're available at Amazon.com and right here at the Movie Pick Store. I'm Steve Grusetti. Thanks for joining me. See you again real soon.